Hey there, it's Dallas from DN Simple. I'm here to walk you through the quickest and most resilient way to connect your domain to Netlify. So let's make a connection. I'm going to connect the domain netlifyconnectorexample.com. This can be a registered domain or a hosted domain. If we head to the connections tab and find the Netlify connector, we can click add. The first step is to connect my DN Simple account. I'll click authorize. And next, we need to authorize our Netlify account. I'm already logged into Netlify, so I'll click Authorize. I can see a list of my Netlify sites. I'll choose one, and I'll need to select a mount point. The mount point is the address where your Netlify site is served, so essentially the subdomain. If you want it to be on the apex, just leave it blank. I'm going to use subdomain. Here are the changes that will be made at Netlify and at DN Simple. We can see the app that we've chosen. We can see the domain name that will be used in the Netlify dashboard. And we can see that DN Simple is going to create its CNAME as well as a webhook to listen for changes. I'll click connect. And there we are. There's confirmation that the connection has been established. Now, when visitors visit your domain, they'll see your Netlify site. And it'll be secure too, because Netlify has gone off in the background and issued and applied an SSL certificate. Now, one other thing that the connector does is it monitors connections. Let's have a peek at what that means. First, I'll show you what happens when we break the connection from the DN Simple side. If I hit jump to DNS records and edit this record, click update. When we head back to the connections tab, what we'll notice is that the connection is broken. Even if you're not inside your DN Simple dashboard, we have you covered. We'll actually send you an email anytime we notice the connection is broken. We can click in there and we'll see that a recent change to the C name has broken the connection. And what we can do is fix that by clicking on reconnect. So we'll go through all the similar steps, connecting our DN Simple account, connecting our Netlify account, having a look at all the changes that will be made and click connect my domain. And there we are, the connection has now been reconnected. So now I'll show you what happens when you break the connection in your Netlify dashboard. Maybe you remove the domain from your account accidentally. So if we head back over to DN Simple, we'll notice that our connection has an error status. And if we head in there, we can reconnect, go through all the same steps um, and authorize and you'll notice that it's actually going to be recreating uh, so deleting the old C name creating a new one and um, there we are we're all fixed up so let's say you love the connector but things got a little out of hand and you made a ton of connections let me walk you through where to see them all in one place we can head to the account page the connections tab and they'll all be listed here as an added bonus, I'll walk you through how to disconnect a connection, but you probably won't need that. Back on our domain connections page, we can find the connection, click on it, and then click disconnect. We'll be prompted to do all the same authorizations. And finally, we'll be able to select which assets that we want to remove. If you actually want this connection to stay in place, but just don't want to use the Netlify connector, just leave everything unchecked. You can see the connection is no longer here. That was the grand tour of the Netlify connector. Head on over to dnsimple.com today and make your first connection. Don't hesitate to reach out if you get stuck or have questions. We're here to help at support at dnsimple.com.